Bernie Sanders was under attack the entire debate the other night in South Carolina, but uh, I think he did a relatively good job battling the desperation from the other candidates. Senator Sanders, the cost of your agenda. Yesterday, you released information about how you will pay for your major proposals, but not all of your details are clear. You've proposed more than $50 trillion in new spending. You've said Medicare for all will Over cost $30 period. trillion. Dollars. But you can only explain how you'll pay for just about half of that. Can you do the math for the rest of us? How many hours do you have? Two. The that's answer that's is, the problem. Well, no, no, it's not the problem. All right, let's talk about Medicare for all. I'm sure you're familiar with a new study that just came out of Yale University, published in Lancet magazine, one of the prestigious medical journals in the world. You know what it said? Medicare for all will lower health care costs in this country by $450 billion a year and save 68,000 lives of people who otherwise would have died. What we need to do is to do what every other major country on earth does, guarantee health care to all people, not have thousands of separate insurance plans which are costing us some $500 billion a year to administer. Our plan, we have, we have laid out options all over the place. One of the options is a 7.5% payroll tax on employers, which will save them substantial sums of money. Thank Another Bernie, tax, let, let me respond to this. Me does the math add up? No, the math does not add up. In fact, just on 60 Minutes uh, this weekend, he said he wasn't going to rattle through the nickels and the dimes. Well, let me tell you how many nickels and dimes we're talking about. Nearly $60 trillion. Do you know how much that is for all of his programs? Not that true. is three times the American economy, not the federal government, the entire American economy. Uh, the Medicare for All plan alone, uh, page 8, clearly says that it will kick 149 million Americans off their current health insurance in four years. That is true. As one prominent Democrat once said, we should pay attention to where the voters of this country are, Bernie. That prominent Democrat was Barack Obama a few months ago. And I think that's what we should do. They are not with you on spending nearly $60 trillion. First what I think we should do is make things more affordable, nonprofit public option, make sure we're paying for long-term care better, take on the pharmaceuticals like you and I have Thank done together, Senator. and do something for the people of Thank America you, instead of a bunch of broken promises uh, that sound good on bumper stickers. Me. Mr. Steyer, Mr. Steyer, I think we're talking we will about get that. to you, Mr. Sanders. Let's talk let about can I say something? Oh, well, look, first of all, yeah. first, let, me go. Go. let me go. I think, Tom, I think she was talking about my plan, not yours. I think we were right. talking about math, and it no, doesn't take no, two it, hours well, to do the math, because let's talk about let's what talk it adds about up to. We math. Don't. Let's talk about let's math talk indeed. About math. Okay, so here's the math. Nothing, no, here's the math. Excuse me. Can I respond to the Doing nothing is what will happen. Senator Sanders, you were allowed to quick question, and then we would like to allow you to get the moderator, guys. Senator Sanders? Moderator. Is it my turn? This helps a lot, doesn't you? you have been name-checked, you are allowed to respond. Okay. What the Health and Human Services have said in analyzing health care costs, what Yale, recent Yale study has said, is that your program would cost some $50 trillion over a 10-year period. We would continue to pay, in some cases, 10 times more for the same exact prescription drugs. What every study out there, conservative or progressive, says, Medicare for all will save money. He did a good job there, uh, you know, fighting back the attacks. But what's so amazing to me is we're now what? How many debates in? Eight, nine, ten, something like that. And all this time and all this opposition research and all this investment from the various campaigns trying to figure out how to go after Bernie. And this is literally all they could come up with. Oh, my God, Bernie bros. Oh, my God. They're so mean online. And how you gonna pay for it? 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 And it's it's just it's the weakest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like you gotta come on, you gotta up your opposition 
This is so pathetic. It didn't work. Like, okay, even the question from the moderator. Senator Sanders, let's talk about the cost of your agenda. Okay, so this has to be what? The 46th question on the cost of his agenda? Guys, I'm not kidding. I think in literally every single debate, they asked about the cost of his agenda. We got it! He's answered it a thousand times, and every time he gives a substantive answer, and this is what drives me crazy, is they'll ask the question. Bernie will respond substantively. Okay, first of all, here, I released... He did this on CNN the other night. He goes, I knew you were going to ask that question. Here, here's a list of the way I pay for every single thing I'm proposing. Don't even bother asking again. It's all right here. We got a Wall Street transaction tax is how we pay for certain things. We have, you know, a tax on billionaires is how we pay for other things. He's got a list of it. And, oh, okay, cut in this area, in this area, the military budget. We're going to, you know, roll back on our spending for our bloated military budget. We're going to do... Um, you know, we're going to stop quantitative easing to the big financial institutions that are screwing the people. We're going to roll back the tax cuts for the top 1%. He pays for all of it. And then instead of listening to his response and then responding to his response, what happens every single time? They go right back and restate the original question. But he answered it. He, how many times do you want him to answer it? He's answered it a thousand times. And you always ignore it and go right back to the same original question. You're begging the question. So it just, it drives me crazy. Like, it comes across so hacky. You look so idiotic. Because how many times does he have to address it and give you the exact answer you're looking for? And then you just pretend like he didn't give an answer. It's stunning, man. It really is. Um, and then the other thing that drives me crazy, and this should drive you guys crazy too, is there's this underlying tone of like, well, obviously, this stuff isn't possible because it's cost prohibitive to do all these things. And it's like, no, every other developed country has managed to do the things that he's talking about. So the idea that it's like impossible to do, it is empirically, verifiably, provably, factually incorrect to say like, oh, no, we can't do it because it's just it's to cost so much. Not true. Not at all true. Not even close to true. <laughs> So they just ignore all of that stuff because they don't like those proposals. They don't like those plans. They're a lot of the people on stage and the moderators are, you know, part of the corporate wing of the Democratic Party. So they think that, you know, run of the mill social democracy is like communism. Um, and then so let's look at some of what Klobuchar said there. 149 million Americans will be kicked off of their health care plans. We're getting rid of the mafia that's price gouging you and ripping you off. There's a mafia in between you and your doctor stealing money from you that provides no value. We're getting rid of that mafia. That's a positive thing. Klobuchar wants you to have a choice of which mafia is going to rip you off. Wow, thank you for that wonderful choice, Amy Klobuchar. See, they're so, like... They're, they're so biased towards the status quo. That's what that is. It's a status quo bias. It works like this now, so how could we ever change it? it I don't understand. We're going to change things? Yes, we're going to change things. In the same way that, you know, before women voting, we decided it's a good idea. We have to fight for the right, but let's have women voting. Let's end prohibition. Let's end segregation. Sure, in 1959, you could have a conversation with somebody and they could be like, ha ha, you want to end segregation? Ha 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 ha, how ridiculous. We have it now. And we shouldn't. <laughs> That's the point. We shouldn't. Uh, oh, guys, I can't. Every day I come out on this show and I have to say the same thing in 4,300 different ways. It's like, when is it going to sink in? But it's not going to because the whole point is the propaganda. The whole point is to raise doubts. And even that framing of kicking people off of their health insurance. He wants to give everybody in the country full health coverage that's free at the point of service and you end up paying less money for it in public taxes as opposed to a much larger private tax which you're paying right now oh my goodness um and then finally uh pay attention to where the voters are is what klobuchar said and she was quoting obama well, Amy, I got news for you. The entrance and exit polls in Iowa, New Hampshire, and Nevada, respectively, in every single one of them, single-payer Medicare for All was overwhelmingly popular. In every single one of those states, you were around 60%, and some it was even higher. So you say we got to go to where the voters are. Great. 
nice to know that you're now in favor of Medicare for all, because that's where the voters are. That's what all the polls show now. So are you changing your mind? Oh, no, you're just using a tired talking point and you're not even up to date on the data on it or you're pretending like that data doesn't exist. So it's just like what, what she's saying is just not accurate. Oh, the, the voters aren't there yet, but they are. In fact, in those entrance and exit polls, they phrase the question in a way to try to get voters to be against Medicare for all. And the voters were still for Medicare for all. Go look at the way that they phrased it. It was ridiculous. It was something like, do you want to eliminate all private health insurance for a single payer government run health care option? Like they tried to make you scared of it. And still it was well over 50% of people who were like, yeah, that's what I want. I'm sorry, man, but this is why he's winning. Because everybody around him, those are everything in that conversation was hacky, was disingenuous. I swear, there's going to come a day, I don't know how long in the future, maybe 100 years, maybe 150 years, when I'm gone and you're gone. And people are going to look back at this election, look back at these debates, and it will look like an episode of The Twilight Zone. Because you have the last sane man on earth, Bernie Sanders, trying to fend off attacks in a Democratic debate from all the other candidates who basically are sounding like Republicans. Republicans.